developing now at 11. Fallout from the Paris attacks right here in Texas and other states as well. Governor Greg Abbott says that Texas will not accept any refugees from Syria following the attacks in France. He also cited the Garland terror attack last May, which ISIS claimed responsibility for. In a letter, Governor Abbott told President Obama that Texas won't participate in the Syrian resettlement program, saying in part, neither you nor any federal official can guarantee that the Syrian refugees will not be part of any terroristic activity. As such, opening the doors or our doors to them irresponsibly exposes our fellow Americans to unacceptable peril. Texas is not alone. Alabama, Arkansas, Michigan, Louisiana have all said they won't take part either though it's unclear how much power the states actually have since immigration is usually a federal matter. And this morning, President Obama is asking more nations to step up in the fight against ISIS. And the president says the U.S. is sharing intelligence with France in the wake of the attacks. After a moment of silence in Paris, the French president said the victims in the Paris attacks are from 19 different nations. This, as the alleged mastermind of the Friday attacks, has been named and police raids have been happening in Belgium. CBS's Jonathan Vigliotti looks at the international response. Thousands across Paris shared an emotional moment of silence today. They're honoring the lives of the 129 people killed and hundreds more injured in Friday night's terror attacks. We have to, to take care and to be careful. Sorry. French police are moving aggressively, arresting about two dozen people overnight during more than 150 raids across the country. Security forces in Belgium are also on the move, searching for 26-year-old Salah Abdeslam. Police say he's the only attacker who escaped. French reports say Abdella Miraboud is the mastermind of the operation. He's a Belgian citizen who had gone to fight in Syria, where he's believed to be now. French warplanes slammed targets in Syria overnight, hitting a jihadi training camp and a munitions dump in Raqqa. U.S. intelligence is helping the French locate targets. ISIL is the face of evil. Our goal, as I've said many times, is to degrade and ultimately destroy this barbaric terrorist organization. Many Parisians have returned to work today, but there is still a sense of sadness and fear. Some have found solace at memorials like this. Carol Colomb says he still can't believe his friend Lamia was gunned down during one of the attacks on a Paris cafe. Uh, she's died. She died. She died. His other friend is recovering after being shot at the Bataclan Theater. France is under a state of emergency that could last for the next three months. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, Paris. And President Obama is in Paris for the, or Turkey for the G20 summit with other world leaders. He is now trying to convince Russia's Vladimir Putin to join the fight. Mr. Obama is asking that he and the Saudi Arabian king help broker a ceasefire in Syria, a war zone that ISIS uses as a safe haven.